Hey, good afternoon. It's Jack Lee coming to you from the War Room, High Top Freedom Studios. Um, I know I talked to you yesterday. I put a uh, video out there, uh, put a little debate uh, of Wooby and Poncho Liner, kind of a comedic thing there, uh, along with some literary news. A little more on the literary front. Um, I have it's in review right now, pending publication soon. Uh, my novel, Blood Money, a private military contractor's story, which is available on Amazon Kindle um, for $9.99, paperback version. <clears throat> will be available on, on the uh, Kindle ebook format as well for $4.99 for those who prefer to listen instead of read. Now, I debated whether or not to do it or not because it's going to be such a short, you know, I, I don't know. I'll have to see. I don't know how many minutes that breaks down to. They didn't give me that information, but we'll see. I just hope they put, like, some cool uh, voice to it. Maybe you know, some Australian actor or something like that. That'd be cool. But it ain't going to happen. That's probably going to happen. I'll probably get like Pee Wee Herman or something. But anyway. Uh, so, uh, yeah, go check that out. I'll post on my uh, Instagram uh, and along with my Facebook and my Facebook author page uh, when that's actually up or you can just uh, keep an eye out for it. Again, available on Kindle ebook. Um, not going to be, uh, I, I decided to talk to you today because things are fixing to get busy. Got some stuff coming up in the next few days. So it's probably going to be, I may not even be able to get back to you. Uh, next week's going to be crazy too. So it's going to be kind of scant, uh, whether or not I get to, uh, get back up, uh, in the next few days or possibly even before the end of next week so but hopefully we can uh, new uh renewed my security license I was kind of debating whether or not to do that or not but it's good to have that to fall back on uh, just got that it's up there behind me um so on that note that's what today's video is about um uh, it's kind of a product review that's what it is actually um, so today I'm going to be reviewing this Sabre Red Pepper Spray OC small canister here it's available for about 10 bucks in your local Walmart uh, that's where I got this one I don't you know, I'm sure sporting, any place that sells guns uh, should have it, other than pawn shops, I doubt that. But um, I know Walmart's got it. Uh, you know, I haven't looked in the local sporting goods stores, but I'm sure it's available there as well, as well as your local, you know, police and, you know, police and those, those supply stores that cater to LEOs. This, I got this, uh, my certification's probably run out, actually, uh, but I got it last year when I was bouncing. Uh, we were in an incredibly, the first bar I bounced at, I bounced at two different ones last year, but the first one got extremely violent, and we were extremely understaffed, so the management chose to permit us to carry these um, they didn't supply them to us but they, they they said we could carry that was cool I had a got a little pouch you know uh, that goes on my uh, I can fit on my you know on my belt um, and I've also got a for my uh, tack vest it fits down in there it's it's actually a better fit than the tack vest but I don't wear that a lot um, my tack vest really and truly is just for uh, 
SHTF Sierra Hotel Tango Foxtrot type scenarios. I don't use it that much, but I was kind of wondering if this would work. Uh, these things are good for, it says on the directions, about 35 jets, about 35 sprays. Um, so uh, this is the model 22 gel, 19 grams. Um, and like I said, it's good for about 35 sprays. Um, it's made of ole resin capsicum. Um, the way it works is there's your actuator button here. That right there is a safe position. If you can see, there's a little notch there. When you're ready to fire, when you're ready to deploy it, give her a shake. Aim at your target, switch that button over to fire, then simply depress the button after you've acquired the target. Of course, you're going to want an issue. Yeah, it's up to you. You know, they tell you in training, issue that verbal warning or that you're about to deploy OC, OC, OC. We didn't do that in a bar room, needless to say. Um, we did it in a more uh, tactical, low-key. You didn't want a lot of collateral damage, so uh, I used it once in the bar, and the way I did it was I simply sprayed a little bit on my hand, and it's not the ideal because you have to decon after that, but I put a little on my hand, then I touched the non-compliant individual on the back of the neck. They started burning, they turned around, and I brushed them right down through here. Um, and they soon were, I was soon able to get them out the door. Um, this has been tested, and like I said, deployed once. Um, uh, it lives up to what it guarantees. They say it's good at, good up between 15 and 25 feet so when I tested it I measured out you know I, I stepped off you know 15 and 25 and it 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 hit the 15 mark quite easily um, of course when doing so the things to remember is so it will deliver that now how many sprays that you get one of these days I think I'm just going to break down spend the you know and go out and get a get a 10 buck canister and see just as you go through the progression and you use it up, you know, as the propellant is expelled, how long, you know, you know, you may be with 10 sprays to go, it may only be going out to 10, eight to 10 feet. So you need to keep that stuff in mind. It's not a bad thing to study up on. Um, like I said, this is not the same stuff that the police use by any means. Um, somebody trying to ring in here. We'll have to wait on that. Um, it's not the, the same level, you know. Um, but it'll get the job done. I've seen it. So... You know, I would recommend it for a woman to carry in her purse. Oh, just be careful. You know, that button, if you don't got it in a case or whatever, and you just throw it in a purse or, or whatever. I definitely wouldn't carry it in a pocket loose like this. You know, you can take a piece of uh, duct tape, 100 mile an hour tape, whatever whatever you call it, and kind of secure this thing into the, into the safe position and then quickly peel it off be ready to deploy that that would help so that the button doesn't you know accidentally get depressed and it deploys in your pocket or in your purse because that would be bad i had you know i had one go off inside a patrol vehicle one time uh when i was down in guantanamo bay <clears throat> yeah and that was bad i had the uh had the heater on it was kind of cool outside in the in the winter time at night and my eyes started to water and my 
it had soaked my pants leg, my thigh was burning, my crotch was burning, it was all, my ass was burning, it was all up underneath, you know. So yeah, it, that wasn't a good scene. Um, so I had to put that bad boy in a Ziploc bag, take it back to, you know, I had to RTV and, uh, you know, get a new one and write a statement, of course. But, uh, so yeah, always keep that in mind. Um, keep this away from kids. Needless to say, this is not something for the crotch goblins to be freaking playing with. Uh, it's not how you want to handle that. Uh, I mean, you could if you want to be entertained, but uh, I wouldn't advise it. Uh, it says, do not expose the heater. Store can at above 120 Fahrenheit. Yeah, bad boy will cook off on you. Yeah, that makes sense. Um... If you do get contaminated, the best way, those of us who have experience in it, the best thing um, to break down the propellant and and the uh, the uh, OC itself. Don't listen to any of those old timers who say Johnson's baby shampoo and all that bullshit. Dawn, Dawn dishwashing liquid. There's nothing better in the world for breaking down grease. And what is the base of this stuff? It's grease. So, you know, that's your best econ method. And then, uh, you know, fresh air, a fan blowing on you, whatever, afterwards. So, uh, that's basically what I've got on this bad boy. Once again, Sabre Red Pepper Spray OC. I recommend it uh, for, you know, for just your general security purposes, carry, you know, not, like I said, it's not law enforcement stuff, but if you're a bouncer or security guard or just want home defense or, you know, vehicle, carry it in your vehicle, whatever, uh, I'd give it a, give it a solid eight on a scale of one to 10. So once again, like, and subscribe my, to my videos. Uh, and uh, we'll have more content up soon. For those who have purchased my books, thank you. And uh, looking forward to signing some copies. So, once again, that's all I got. Uh, we'll get something back up as soon as we can. This is Jack Lee from Freedom Studios and The War Room signing off.